Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is the Planet Crafter. I just wanted to start this episode on the title screen, because I, I noticed, you know, the planet here, it's looking pretty barren. But if you go in and you actually go to your save game, your save file, it shows you the planet, like, terraformed. I mean, obviously this isn't the planet, because there's way too much water. That's pretty cool that it, like, changes. I didn't I didn't notice till today that it changes when you go to load your game. So anyway, I just wanted to show that. So today, today I'm going to do some rearranging. So last episode, which was a couple days ago, because I kind of took Sunday off, we made a beehive. We collected some larvae. I tried to make more beehives by getting some bee larvae, but the recipe that you use on common larvae, mutagen, and fertilizer can also make silkworms, which aren't as useful as bee lever. Apparently, you do need three silkworms or something. A couple of people said in the comments, but it doesn't really help me right now. But you can see bees flying around, which is pretty cool, I think, anyway. And we got some honey here. Um, honey is food. You can eat it, but it only restores 10 health, whereas, you know, beans are 60. So, but honey might be used in a recipe. I know there is, like, a better food that you can make. Um, it's the next thing I will unlock in insects, which should actually be very, very soon. And actually the butterfly dome is gonna be very, very soon as well. So might make some of those, but the thing I wanted to do today, I wanted to use these auto crafters. So I have an auto crafter here. Oh, 155 power per second. I might need to up my power if I'm gonna be using extra auto crafters. I only have 455, which is only enough for two auto crafters, and then I would have like no power left. So, I don't want to use my pulsar quartz. I don't have, technically have enough. That would be all my pulsar quartz, and I have a feeling pulsar quartz is valuable for something else. So, let's make a couple nuclear reactors. Each nuclear reactor can power two auto crafters and with a little leftover. So I would need six uranium rods. Well, there's six uranium rods. And I would need two super alloys. Not rods, just super alloys. Um, explosive powder, which I don't have any of, but I should be able to make some probably. It's just sulfur and iridium. I'll need two of these. Make what I need for now. And then I need a bunch of water. So let's go grab some water. So as I was saying, I want to, yeah, this one, I could move this one because it's not actually close enough. It's not, um, I put them here so that they'd be close enough the auto crafter could grab them, but it's not working. So I want to put some auto crafters in the world in places where I can speed up some processes. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to, I'm going to make a little bridge out into the middle of the lake I'm gonna put a little workshop there. Okay, there's high quality food. So we'll check to see what we need to make that in a sec. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make a little bridge out to here, a little workshop with an auto crafter, some storage. And then around it, I'm gonna have the lake water collectors, right? And then I'll move the algae generators so that we can automatically make the, um, oh, what's it called, bacteria. So we can automatically make bacteria. And I might even automatically make the mutagen out there as well. We're going to need a lot of both of those. All right, so right now, though, let's throw another couple uh, uranium things down. And I don't know, should I just make one more of these? It'll, like, take care of my power issues for, like, pretty much the entire rest of the game. <laughs> well, I say, no, you know what? I just jinxed it. I should have never said that. Yeah, it's only 1,400. Almost 1,500, which I guess is a lot, but also isn't a lot, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> all right, so the better food. Honey and beans. There we go. So we don't make, we make honey now, but I'm going to need more beehives, obviously, for that. Oh, honey actually came in pretty quick there. So how much? Uh, question is... How much value do we get out of that? Does it need to be the auto crafter? Can we make it here? Or here? 
How can that only be made at the auto crafter? Apparently. Okay, there's the butterfly dome as well. All right, so I'm just going to put those in there just so we can auto craft some better food. Or high quality food, I guess it's called. Which gives us 90 health. Which is, so the beans is 60. The honey's 10. So we're basically gaining 20 food by making the high quality food. Which we definitely will. All right, so butterfly dome. Fertilizer tier two, fertilizer, tree bark, zeolite, and two super alloy. And it makes 20 insects per second, which is slightly more than a beehive. You can insert butterfly larvae in it to increase insect levels. We can make butterfly larvae here. We need common larva, mutagen, and fertilizer for that one. And then the better one, much better one, we need rare larva, mutagen, and fertilizer. So let's briefly go on a, go over to the trees, see if we can find some larva over here. But yeah, there's definitely some things. I need to optimize my base a little more, like location for, for better automation. Optimization for automation. Got here, common. I mean, common's fine. That's what we need for the butterfly, but I would like to see some on, ooh, and rare. I was gonna say, I'd like to see some rare. And a rare appeared, and there's one right there. There's one right here. Ooh, another rare. And an uncommon. Another rare, oh crap. I was not expecting this many rares. That's like a, they're like quote unquote rare, <laughs> clearly. Um, I wish you could, I wish there was an auto incubator <laughs> in addition to the auto crafter. All right, well, we got some larva. Let's go throw these, I'll go over under these trees. It's funny, you gotta, you gotta like stay in an area for the larva to spawn. Kind of funny that way. Um, what are the autocrafters cost to make though? Osmium, two osmium and a super alloy rod. So that's not the best. <laughs> I mean, osmium's fine. I was kind of like, man, I have a lot of osmium and nothing to spend it on. So I guess that's good. All right, uh, do I have any water on me? I do. Let's go back. You're not, maybe larva doesn't spawn in the rain. I don't know, didn't seem to be any larva spawning for me there. Yeah, I might, I might move these flower spreaders and stuff. Just cause my, my base might get laggy, right? We have all these solar panels, just everything's right here. Might move some stuff at some point. Um, larva, larva go over here. Common, rare, uncommon. All right, so we got some of each. All right, so right now, let's focus on getting the butterfly dome. So we need a fertilizer and a fertilizer tier two. Fertilizer tier two. Uh, I feel like I have the things to make that. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And a fertilizer tier one. And two super alloy. One, two. And three bar. And I forget what the other thing was. Zeolite, which I definitely have a zeolite. All right, so where shall I put a butterfly dome? Right here? Why? Can I put it right there? Oh, let me, it'll let me put it right here, wherever this. <laughs> Oh, I think it's clipping into that. I try to put it there. Um, I would have thought it would go there, though. Yeah, 
how big is it? It's not. It's not that big. Oh, there's a larva. <laughs> like. Okay, let's grab some iron. We got that larva. So I guess larva. I guess I don't need to go over to the trees to get larva. Can't pick up the bees though. All right, maybe like put down a couple more foundation. No, not foundations. Uh, rooms. For it to like connect off of. No, I don't. I don't think rooms are what I need. <laughs> oh, it needs titanium, not silicon. Why do they get needed silicon? Maybe I need more foundations. I don't know. All right, so now let's try the butterfly dome. There we go. It's going to hang off the edge, but we can add some foundations later. Because this is going to bother me. Oh, maybe it's a bit bigger than I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it must have been just clipping in. All right, anyway. Let's get in here. You? Oh, yeah. So this is where we put her butterfly larva. Oh, and how much power is this taking up? 139, so that's a lot of power. Yeah, you know what? I'm making one of those things. Screw it. Gonna be completely out of pulsar quartz. I'm almost completely out of super alley, but I have two rods. But I shouldn't have to worry about power for a while. Right? In theory, anyway. That's the DNA manipulator, Looch. There's the power thing. There. And if push comes to sub, if I need the pulsar quartz for something desperately later. Can take the power away right and they had nuclear or whatever yeah 2400 power i think we're good on power all right so i am going to do some building i'm going to add some foundations under this thing so it doesn't look garbage and i'm going to get started on my project out here i will be back with an update soon all right so i got some very basic work done on my project but i get interrupted because i unlocked something new <laughs> The water filter allows you to drink directly from lakes. So we need water bottle, fabric, aluminum, a couple of bioplastic nuggets. Do I have any water bottle? I mean, I can get water bottles. That's not a problem. Bioplastic nuggets. Oh, I do have two. That kind of surprised me. Fabric. I have all kinds of fabric. Um, so wait, what was it that I needed? I'm short something. Water bottle. Right. Water bottle it should be the easiest thing. There we go. All kinds of water bottles. I don't want to drink out of the water bottle anymore. I want to drink right out of the lake. <laughs> oh, but I don't have any space. So I need to upgrade my exoskeleton to tier three, which is not here. I am going to have to drink a water bottle, I think. Uh, super alloy rod, uranium rod, two osmium. Okay, that's that's a lot of stuff. I don't have the uranium right now. All right, so let's quickly <laughs> take off the mining speed and put on the water filter. And let's go take a drink from the lake, shall we? Is it automatic or do I have to hit something? Um... how to drink from the lake you gotta be up here and hit a button oh there we go drink all right so there we go now i know <laughs> and while i'm here also got two butterfly larvas let's go put these in the dome and we should see a whole bunch of butterflies flying around now and it gives 92 grams of insects per second. Hey, look at all the butterflies. Nice. 
pretty little butterflies. Alright, so let's, um, hey, what are you doing in here, B? You're supposed to be outside. <laughs> so, my project, such as it is so far, I'm gonna head out, so head out here, just gonna put down some more platforms. I gotta move these algae generators out a bit. Um, it's blocking my platforms. But I'm gonna put one of the uh, two by two living compartments here. And, well, wait. I guess that's the question, though. Does. Can you put storage lockers outside? What about. What about the crafting station? Does it need to be inside or can it be outside? I've been hard on the iron. Remember how I was like, oh, I don't need iron anymore? Yep, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. No, they can go here, so they don't need to go inside. What about the auto crafter? Does that need to go inside? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Because I don't need to put... If it doesn't need to be inside, I'm not going to put it inside. Right? It doesn't need to be inside. Yeah, well, that changes things a little bit. All right, and here's the question. Does it pull algae? It does pull algae. Nice. All right, so then we're going to put a couple of storage lockers. So basically, okay, so we got to get uh, lake water collector. So bioplastic nuggets, super alloy, aluminum, magnesium. All right, so I'm going to need to get some more super alloy. And I need some more iron, I think. And then I gotta, I will have to move some of these out. Well, do I have to move the algae generators? But I'm gonna need a, one of the like collector or two. So the idea is we can, we'll be able to make bacteria out here automatically. And then I have storage lockers for sulfur and methane, right? And the bacteria gets made into mutagen because we need mutagen for a lot of things, it seems, um, is the idea. It's just, it's, I mean, I still have to schlep like sulfur and stuff around, but I don't have to come down here to collect algae anymore, right? Is the idea. But algae, is algae also used in fertilizer though? I think it is. Okay, so I'll have to bring eggplant out here as well. Maybe I can grow eggplant out here, possibly. The more I think about this, the more I think it's not. <laughs> maybe it's not the best idea, but just maybe we'll just do bacteria. Maybe I'll just do the bacteria. And then we'll do everything else in there. Well, that that also means I don't need all this. I could just put the thing right here, right? Like you can just go like here. And then I can deconstruct all these. So I don't need them. Right? Because we don't need storage lockers if we're just doing bacteria. Well, we're not... Eh, it doesn't reach near as much algae here, though. Alright, well, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to mess around with a couple of spots for this. And I will come back once I uh, find one that I want. That I like. Okay, I got some uh, lake water extractors down here. They are gathering water slowly. I feel like these are a lot slower than the atmospheric ones, but I guess I could put atmospheric ones here. I don't need the lake ones, or I could add lake ones. Anyway, we are going to make bacteria samples forever. This will just always make bacteria samples. It might not always have enough algae. It might not always have enough water, but it's always gonna try, right? Doesn't matter if I'm working on the base somewhere else, if I'm off exploring. Speaking of exploring, I'm not gonna do any in today's episode, but tomorrow we're gonna do some exploring. Um, if you have a thought of what direction I should explore in, let me know in the comments. All right, so yeah, we made four. That's it. We're out of water, because these, yeah, these are slow. But more coming, right? As soon as they get enough water, it'll automatically start. Oh, get some larva. Is common though. I feel like 
Did I even be picking up common larvae at this point? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Um, I'm also trying to get uh, another silkworm. Come on. Come on with the silkworm. I don't want a silkworm. I want another <laughs> no, I want another bee one. I'd like to make fertilizer automatically. Would be nice as well. Do I have any uncommons? No, one left. All right, one more try at uh, bee larva. Well, one more with what I have. I don't have any more uncommon larva, and I don't have any more mutagen. But that is okay. So another use of the autocrafter that I was thinking would do um let's make some more super food here it needs to be at the auto crafter doesn't it doesn't pull from my inventory though right so i gotta put it somewhere it's weird i feel like i feel like it should be made makeable somewhere else maybe it's makeable in here maybe it is probably makeable in here yeah, right there. Okay. Anyway, another good use of a super crafter that I'm going to do. Or not a super crafter. Auto crafter. They're called auto crafters, Luch, not super crafters. Um, that's what we need. How are we doing for power? Oh, yeah, we got a bit of power. <laughs> 2200 available power. I'm going to come over here to where I have the tier one ore extractors on aluminum. Um, might as well turn it into super alloy, right? Because we have everything for super alloy over here. So why not just make it here? Right? Like, makes sense to me. Oh, only one ore extractor. It's close enough there. What if you put it in this corner? There we go. We got both ore extractors. So this will just constantly make super alloy. Although apparently we don't have what we need. <laughs> really? We don't have what we need for super alloy? Okay, so we got silicon, titanium, aluminum, cobalt, iron. So there's just no magnesium. All right, so no magnesium in either one. So this might not work as well as I thought. If Yeah. I mean, it's still worth it, I guess, but... I'm pretty sure these do make magnesium, though, don't they? They're just not right now. <laughs> For whatever reason, I mean, I could come over with magnesium, but that doesn't really help. I could have swore these make magnesium. Oh, we'll let it run. Come back in a bit. Let's see. Um, uncommon, we're going to pick that up. Common, I'm not going to pick you up. I just, no, I don't think it's worth it. But I think that'll be good, provided that it actually works. Right, it should. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like, what are the odds that neither one has made a single magnesium yet? Right? Like, I don't know. All right, so let's get a drink. Because we can. Fancy. And let's go pick up my fancy food. But uh, I do want... I'd like to be able to make fertilizer without having to do a bunch of running around as well. Fertilizer, what is fertilizer? Algae, eggplant, and sulfur. So that would need to be over water for the algae. And we would have to bring sulfur. Right? I feel like I've gone through a lot of sulfur today. I mean, I have a lot, but I, I had to make multiple trips out to my sulfur mine sulfur extractor, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty hard on it, honestly. Is there something else? Fertilizer and explosive powder and there's like multiple things. Oh, meteor shower. What kind of meteors we got today? I don't know, can't tell. Uh, I got a new tree seed as well. Tree seed soleus, so we need tree bark, mutant, oh wait, that's one of the old ones. Here's the new one right here. Tree bark, mutagen, and seed tusca. 
pretty sure all my seed tuscas are currently in flower spreaders right now. But maybe they'd be better served to be in a tree spreader. This does like 2,000 oxygen and 43 plants per second. What does a tree spreader do? I'm not sure. But we unlocked. We unlocked the new tree seed. Does less oxygen but more plants. Less oxygen but more plants. Ooh, what kind of meteor was this? That's a uh, interesting color. <gasps> it's a, oh, sorry, quartz meteor. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Because this is what we need to make the super power things, and I'm assuming other sweet late game things. Ooh, how many of these meteors fell? <laughs> Just the one? Oh, I'm going to have to go look everywhere. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to leave literally no stone unturned. Looking for pulsar quartzes. Well, right away, that's like seven of them. Which is great, obviously. All right, and I'm getting hungry. Now I'm not. Perfect. All right, so how much more bacteria samples were made? Yeah, three more. Like I said, it's just going to, it's going to always run though, right? Now, see, the Super Alloy one might not always work because as the, like the situation we're seeing right now with the magnesium, but the bacteria one should always work, right? It might not work quickly, but it will always work. Let's go see. Did we get a magnesium? I mean, I could bring a couple magnesium, I guess, just to make sure it doesn't get all gummed up and stop working. But I'm pretty sure magnesium can come from that. That was the old gas extractor. So probably get another one of these. And there's, I need nitrogen too, which I assume comes from a different biome. So I might have to experiment, uh, placing those in different areas to see. Because I think it's um, the tier two mutagen, I think, needs nitrogen instead of methane. All right, so we got one super alloy made. Put those in there. They should get eaten up. Yeah, they're, they're getting eaten up now. Which should eat up most materials in here, which frees up space for magnesium. Ooh, that's a lot of iron. So let's take this iron back with me. Anyway, that thing might not always work. Like, because, like, both miners might get full of, you know, iron or whatever. So I'll have to go back and forth with that one periodically, but... It's a nice, like, basically free source of super alloy, right? I mean, it's not as good as the actual super alloy <laughs> or extractor, but it's a lot closer than the actual super alloy or extractor, right? Yeah, there's some methane. Speaking of that, or extractor, let's go check on it. It's pretty good, this super alloy or extractor. Um, it consistently has, like, it's almost always all super alloy. That's like this iridium one. Like, now it's gonna make a liar out of me, but anytime I go here, it's like 80 to 90 percent iridium. And eh, they made a liar, to me, but still, that's a lot of iridium, right? Which I don't really need right now. Not compared to super alloy, anyway. Um, now let's go check this. Actually, look at the time. That's gonna be all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, next episode, we're going to go do some exploring. Let me know what episode or what episode, what direction I should go in to explore. Um, you know, don't tell me why, like, don't spoil it for me. Just give me a direction for the people that have played before. And if you haven't played before, hey, you can still give me a direction. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to my patrons. If you want to support me on Patreon, it'd be greatly appreciated. I couldn't do this without my patrons. Links in the description down below to my Patreon. You can also find my Discord and my second channel there. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.